Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 17.4 which is just around the corner and it should be released in a few hours. So in today's video, I will show you guys the first things that you should do once you have updated your device to the new iOS 17.4. And first of all, we're talking about updating and specifically we're talking about beta updates. So if you're like me and you have installed iOS 17.4 beta on your device and you have updated of course to the rc version then you didn't get the public release because you already have it now if you don't want to continue on with the betas of ios 17 of course ios 17.5 beta 1 should be released very soon the first thing you want to do is go to your general settings and then go to software update and then right here under beta updates make sure you have turned off beta updates so you no longer receive the betas that apple will release now another thing i suggest you do right here under the software update section on the settings app is go to automatic updates and here we'll find ios updates security responses and ios updates automatic download now what i suggest you do here is make sure you turn these on especially security responses and system files these are small updates that will come to your device that are actually really, really important. So I suggest you have these turned on all the time. Now, of course, you can maybe turn off iOS updates and automatic downloads, but make sure that you have security responses turned on. Now, once you have updated your device to the new iOS 17.4, there is a very good chance that you will also get an update for your carrier. Now, these updates are really important so that you get the best signal, the best best quality network on your device what i suggest you do once you have updated to ios 17.4 go to your settings under general go to the about section and just stay there for like 10 seconds if you have a carrier update it will show up on the screen all you have to do is just tap update and that's it it won't reboot your device or anything it will update your carrier which again is really really important for the quality of reception that you get on your iphone whenever you update your iphone to a new software release there will also be a ton of updates from apps especially the bigger apps that we use on daily basis so you want to make sure that you have all of your apps up to date that way your apps are optimized to work with the new software and of course you get better performance and better battery life while using those apps on your device so head on to the app store go to your account and under updates make sure that all of your apps are up to date if you don't want to bother with that you can also go to your settings and from here you can just go to the app store section here and from here make sure that you have enabled app updates so you will have your apps automatically updated now one really cool new feature that apple has added to the new iOS 17.4 is the ability for Siri to send and also read messages in other other languages other than English. Now, if you use another language, you can finally have Siri read the messages in your language. Now, the way to do that, head on under Siri and search here under the settings app and then go to messaging with Siri and you can add your language from here. Tap add language. And you will see all the different languages that are supported right here. Of course, not all of them are, but a few of them right here. You can just choose any one that you want and then Siri will be able to read any message that you actually receive on that language iOS 17.4 will also bring a ton of new emojis so once you have your device updated you can go ahead and check any of the new emojis that Apple have a has added to your iPhone with iOS 17.4 and of course if you needed any one of them before you can now use them with this new update now one thing that I suggest users to do all the time once they have updated their device to a new software update is check the battery health on their device now the reason you should do that is that once you update your device the battery and all the components of the iphone will be recalibrated and rechecked by ios that means that the battery percentage the battery health on your device might drop quite a lot you have seen that sometimes once you update your device you will see it will drop two or three percentages it won't be because you have updated but because at the time before you updated it wasn't showing the real battery health of your iphone and once it has rechecked all the components it will show the actual battery health so make sure you go ahead and check the battery health on your device and see at what percentage it is especially if you had your battery close to 80 percent make sure you check it and see if it has fallen below 80 percent which means that your device 
won't be able to perform as it should. Now with iOS 17.3, Apple has added stolen device protection, another cool feature and of course very much needed when it comes to the security of your iPhone and with iOS 17.4 they have made it even better. Now you can require always to have the security delay. That's the option right here. Once you have enabled stolen device protection, you just switch to always here and your device will always be protected. Doesn't matter whether it's in a familiar location or not. iOS 17.4 will add also a new widget to the home screen of your device. So go ahead and check it out. Maybe add it to the home screen of your iPhone is this one right here, a digital clock for any city that you choose. It's pretty cool. It looks quite cool here. You can see the clock there, the city, and then the time difference. And you can see these lines right there that indicate the seconds, which is really awesome. Now you can tap on it and tap on edit clock. And from here, you can pick any city that you want and display it on this new widget on the home screen of your iOS 17.4 device. Now, as always, once you have updated your iPhone to a new software, it's maybe a good time to take a look at your privacy settings. I suggest you do this all the time. Go ahead and go under privacy and security. Here we'll have everything you need from your location services to your contacts, your camera, your microphone, and see what apps have what access on your device. So you go to camera, for example, you see here, maybe you might see an app that you don't want to have access to your camera you can of course check it out from here and maybe even change it so you will have everything that you need here from speech recognition to your bluetooth your local network which is of course really important and then also things like your photos reminders calendars and all that so always make sure that you check these and also check the tracking status right here allow apps to request to track you enable it here but then you will have all the apps requesting to track you if you by accident have allowed any one of them you can now go ahead and turn it off from here and last but not least something really important as well backing up your device even though you should do this before updating your device just in case something might go wrong even though probably it wouldn't but you should back up your device regularly if you haven't backed up yet make sure to do this after you have updated you can of course back it up from here from the icloud settings or you can use your computer to actually go ahead and back up your device even though i always suggest that you do this before updating your device but if you haven't done it now it's a good time to make sure that you have all of your things backed up so that's pretty much it for this video guys these are the things that i suggest every iphone user must do once they have updated their device to the new iOS 17.4. As you know, iOS 17.4 is a great update with a lot of new features and changes, good battery life, and also great performance. And probably the last big update to iOS 17 before move on to the first beta of iOS 18 in the beginning of June. So that's basically it. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you on the next one.